Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of Let's Build a Medieval City. Last time we were working on the market here. Let me get you a good view. Whoops. Alright, so not many people voted or chose, but we went with this arced lantern, so and I kept the the dual one here and just sort of arced it a little bit. I wasn't sure if I wanted to go up one and get rid of this. Uh, I didn't really like that. I mean, that one's all right, but I definitely like keeping it like this. And this is the second side, so here it is. Yeah, just selling different stuff. A bit dark in here, but oh well. There's the well. And yes, I've got new shaders. Shaders. Hooray. Makes water and shadows. and Makes it look great. So today, I figured we'd work here over here on this farmhouse. Keeping with the code that we've got hidden over there. Red being roads. Brown being farmhouses or farm areas. Pretty simple. And the white being trees or bushes. Pretty simple. So for this one... I thought we'd start out with grabbing some items. So yeah, I'm saying, I'm thinking oak wood and we'll go, yeah, we'll go jungle wood for flooring and whatnot. Walls, we'll go, we'll just stick with oak wood. Actually, we could probably go down to something down here, maybe some clay. Maybe a brown clay or something like that. Well, we'll get there. First things first is, let's get rid of this red wool. Alright, we'll step down. Do, 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 do. And a little pathway going this way. Alright. I figured we'll go up that high and then here. This is the pathway here. Yep. Excellent. And we'll have this right there as a stairway. And I'll bring that out like this. Actually. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it like that just for just for now. And log here. And log here. So two in will be where we finish that little deck. So we'll grab our jungle wood and we'll chuck that down. And we'll continue filling this up. And I won't fill in that one just yet. Alright, so we got this and we'll, we'll grab some fences. We'll chuck that down under the leaf there. We'll delete that for a second. Alright, chuck that. We'll grab some grass, fill in this, make it look nice. Probably don't have to do that spot right there, but just here. Alright, and we'll chuck the fences down. So one there, one there. And we'll go along. Alright, and we'll just quickly do that. And we'll do it up here as well. Make it nice and safe for the the farmer and his wife. <laughs> Alright, so we'll grab some stairs. Uh, some stairs. So we need some jungle. We're we'll using jungle wood. So here it is. And we'll go bam. Like that. Next one, like that. And then we'll keep, we'll turn that one there. And that'll be our stairwell. Because I want to keep, I want to keep this pathway here. That looks nice. I'm not so sure about this one. I'll get rid of this one. Maybe I can do this here as well. And here, I'm going to chuck the tree down. So I'm going to make the tree nice and tall. And we'll grab a nice... Where's the oak? There it is. Nice oak tree. And bone meal materials. Alright, so grab the sapling. Chuck the bone meal. And it's uh, it's not very 
good. Why don't we just delete this out really quickly? Break in the tree. That's what we gotta do. Alright. Almost done. Alright, let's try this again. But this time I think we'll go up a bit more. Just to be sure. Oh, there we go. Alright, we'll put the logs back. And we might even do this. Make a bit of a log and then we'll just get rid of these. Don't need them. And we'll grab some of the some of the leaves. Bring it down a little bit. And in just there. We'll also chuck a log there. And that way we can bring this out here a little bit. That way it doesn't look so Minecrafty square. <laughs> and pretty much when you do make a trees, it's just how you feel it looks. It doesn't have to go to any standards. Um, so yeah, just shove leaves on it until you like or dislike it. And then delete a few blocks here and there. So yeah, I like this. I think I might get rid of that one though. That one just looked a little weird and out of place. Alright, so we've got this little balcony. Now we've got to build this guy's house. So we'll keep this and we'll go up here. I think I might add the doorway here. So this one go up. I'm not sure how tall I want it, I'm just going to chuck it up this far. And I think I might, yeah, I'm going to put one right here. I'll put a log here. One more. And yeah, I'm going to do it at the front too, so one, two, three. There we go. Alright, so then we can fill this in. There we go. Now we'll chuck the logs back here, so we'll go up. And then here, then here, and second last one, and the last one. Yep, and we'll grab our grass block, make it nice and tidy. Alright. So you, you know what I'm going to do, I'm just going to quickly go around and I'm going to add the flooring in and I'm going to add the grass down the bottom underneath this and I'm going to add the fences around, so I'll be back with you then. Alright guys, welcome back. So I'm just sort of holding it off the revealing, so here we go. Here's the revealing. I did and chuck some bone meal around, did the pathing off screen. I mean, it's just regular pathing, so I guess you guys didn't want to really see it. I thought I'd just put it haphazardly, some grass and some bone meal around. Sort of just shoved it around, but yeah, I have finished off the ground, and I added the poles and added the flooring and whatnot. So now, we just got to fill it, do the walls, and walling material. What do we want to use? Um, I do want to put a little bit of cobblestone in just because they would have used a little bit of cobblestone, I suppose, somewhere in a build, and I want to keep it sort of to the same sort of lots of cobblestone feel. I know lots of people dislike the cobblestone and whatnot, but if it's used correctly, then it would look, it'll look nice. I, I We'll get to the farms after I finish the house. What, I do, what I'll do is I'll do a little bit, and then I'll just cut and do the rest. So, um, yeah, let's get on with the walls. So we want a nice wall material. I'm going to grab some oak wood here. Um, what are we, uh, Come down here. That's grey wool. We don't want that. Um, come down here and we'll grab some brown stained clay. I'll even gray, grab some grey. I'll get rid of this grass block and I'll get... Um, I'll grab stone bricks, so we'll see. So this is going to be where the door is. So, let's try off the oak wood first. That's not that bad. At first I was going to put the, 
I could put the walls in like that, but I, I definitely want to leave the door like this. So if I just do this, I'm going to put a window here, so nice little window here. And we'll fill this one in. And we'll put a cross like that. Check a window. Oop. There we go. Oh. Well, a single porthole will do. It definitely makes it very small in here, so... I think... We'll just skip the whole inner side, because that would be ridiculous living space. What I'll do is I'll fill this in. Oh, there we go. That was that was absolutely horrible. That was like two squares to live in. That's that's not right. I'm definitely liking the oak wood. For this one, I'm just going to go with the brown stained clay. This one I'll go with the stone bricks. So I don't I don't mind them. I'm leaning more towards the wood and the stone bricks than I am the clay. So now we'll use this clay. Yeah, so I'm definitely leaning towards the stone bricks and the arm. Um, and the what do you call it? The wood. I think what we'll do is we'll leave this side wooden and we'll put like a fireplace down here so we'll fill this one in we'll leave these two and we'll bring this up and we'll do the same here there we go this will be the fireplace there Then we go across like that. So I'm going to get rid of this clay. And go back to the wood. Alright, that looks nice. So, fill up the wood. And I'll get to this off camera, but we need to make this safe. Make this safe. So, we'll grab some cobblestone. We all love the cobblestone, so we'll grab rid of that. We'll get rid of that. Alright. Cobblestone, bit of flooring there. Yep. And, um, where is it? We'll use a stone slab. There are the fences. Stone slab. And some nether rack. The nether rack is great. I love building with a little bit of nether rack. Makes the fires absolutely amazing. We'll grab our, our lighter. Where is it? There it is. Alright, that's great. Now, this up here, gonna block that in. Yep, and we can even go like that. And we'll grab some stone brick stairs. Where are they? There they are. You can't even see the cobblestone anymore, so it was a bit useless grabbing it. Could even do that there, make it a little bit thicker. And yeah, that's our little fireplace. I like it. Um so yeah, let's get on with this. I'll be back when I finish the walls. Alright guys, welcome back. Here's the reveal. As you can see I did a little bit of a trim with the stone bricks at the top here. Looks a little nice. I was unsure if I wanted to keep the little porthole or not. I'll put it there, and if we dislike it by the end of it, I'll get rid of it. I raise this up so when I finish off the roof, I know how far to bring this. So yeah, there's the walls. I suppose we should chuck the windows in now, and the door. So I'll grab the door. Nice wooden door. Alright, then we'll grab window. Uh, we'll just go regular glass. And one window, one window, two there, two there, two there, two there. Alright. This looks relatively nice. I mean, we could even put a wall. 
Ach ja, so wird es. Something like this, and then because it's inside, we'll keep the wood. It's nice. And we could even put it some here. So I know I don't usually do the inners of the buildings and whatnot, because you won't see that very often. Yes, um, I'm going to bring that one down like this, and then I need some oak wood stairs. There we are. Grab the stairs, chuck that there. Whoa, there. I'm going to open this, and you can see sort of what I'm doing, just adding a little more depth to the doorway with, this, with the stairways. Um, get rid of the cobblestone, we'll chuck the door there. Oop, door here. And that's nice. It's nice. And we'll have the, this will be the main dining, kitchen, sitting area more or less. And this will be a bedroom. So you can tuck a bed down or something in there. But that's the the house done more or less. So let's get cracking on the roof and roof, roof. So we can just get rid of most of this stuff. We'll choose a whole different palette more or less. So um, I said I was going to use cobblestone. We'll use cobblestone here. We, def we definitely need a different roof material, so a different, we we'll use, spruce looks good in this case, I just want to, and, um, yeah, so what we'll do is, oop, there we go, and by putting this, this is the first layer, so it's over the edge, of course, we need it to be, and there, put that here, actually, do I want to bring that out, yeah, just to make it a little bit different. Oh, there we go. Go up here. There. There. And it's going to require it opposite. I'm going to quickly jump over here. Boom. Adding the stairs because this is a two. It's, a, it's not on an even. It's going to end up end up like this. It's not bad. But it's going to end up like that, and then. We get our spruce wood. Just fill in this gap here. I actually like the spruce wood in this in this case. And add that there. Oop. Upside down. Proper. Upside down. And this is pretty much the pattern that everyone you should you should be aiming for. You don't want to put a big square roof on on the house as mu as much as some of the houses actually some houses do look good with it you'll find that most it won't in minecraft which is unless you're doing a pyramid pyramids always look good in minecraft so then continue adding the roof um what i will do is i'll just do the one side and then or i'll keep doing this keep going And I'll, I'm sort of liking this. This is this is nice. So I'll do this one last layer, and then I'll do the other side off off screen. Oh, how about there we go? I've always had a bit of trouble placing roofs. Oh, there we go. There we go. That's one side of it. I'm thinking maybe just to be a little bit annoying. Go add some more cobblestone. Sort of like a, um, to strengthen the roof, where the pillars are. I'm not exactly sure what they're called, but, yeah. It also points out where the, the walls are. It's like extra, giving an extra hand to the, to the walls. In here is a little bit different. What we're going to do is we're going to grab this light grey wall. We're just going to fill this up, just like that. And we don't have to do it on this side. Excellent. So this light grey wool gives us a little bit of an extra texture there. And I'll grab this and you can do this. It's, it's nice. Usually you'd put it on this layer so there would be an extra bit. But since we don't have it that tall, we'll use it like this. So we'll do that over here quickly. 
Uh, no, we can leave it like that actually. But what I will do is I'll just quickly grab that and put that in there like that. There's a bit of a lighting glitch in there. Whoa. Alright. Alright, I saw that. I think I know what I have to do. So, game, rule, tab, 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 fire trick, and then we turn that false. So, the fire will not spread anymore. So, if you're playing this in survival, just know that your fire definitely will spread. <laughs> Alright. I said I was going to do this side off camera, so I'll go and do it off camera and I'll meet you guys back in a second. Alright guys, welcome back. Here's the roof complete. Looks great. But as I was saying before, if you are playing in survival, your, um, your wood will go up in flames anyway, unless you do the game rule. But you'd have to be in creative mode to do that, so yeah. So the flame shouldn't do anything anymore. We could even grab some iron bars. See how that looks in there. Alright, we can't do it. Now we can. It seems wrong. We're going back to the, the slabs. Alright, so we'll grab... We'll, go, we'll put the slabs back. Ah! I've unlit the fire. Alright. Grab our flint and steel. And I'll just chuck it. To the flames. Did I do that? That's a shame. Oh, there it goes. Alright, so fire will destroy items as well. Open that door. Close that door. Alright, so here's the house pretty much done. It looks nice. You might want to put a chair or something, a chair and table out here for the old farmer and his wife. So now we've got to get started on the, um, the gardens. So this one I'm thinking of just making it like a water trough for a horse or something. So let's get rid of this brown wool. There we go. So a water trough. Um, we can do something simple. We'll just go and use the cauldrons. Um, go. Oh, let's get some grass going in here first. As much as I know it will grow back while we're building in certain spots I would like to have it nice and clean so what we'll do is we'll go that and then we'll get a bucket of water oh that's a bucket of lava, we want a bucket of water there we go so I don't have any connected textures or whatnot so that if I did that would have connected and that would look pretty cool but yeah that was that's pretty cool and it's too bad we can't play in 1.8. I don't know. I, I probably could, but 1.8, you got the, um, oh, now I can't remember it all, but grab me some fences and I'll do a bit of this and a bit of that. Just a little bit. It makes the farmhouse look nice. In fact, we probably don't even need that one, and I'll just go like that. And then what we'll do is, in here, we find a horse. Uh, horse. Villager. Ho there's a horse. And I think it's in miscellaneous? No. Materials. Materials. No? Tools, maybe. Yeah, here it is. A lead. We get the horse. Place him down. Put the lead on him. And we'll tie him there. We'll get. We'll even give him a name. So what we'll do is we we'll get the anvil, and we need a name tag. Name tag. All right, that's empty map. Name tag. It's got to be around here somewhere. All right, just there it is. All right, so we'll put the anvil down, and we'll get the name tag, and we'll type it in. We'll call him Bucky. There we go, Bucky. We'll destroy that. And you are now Bucky. There we go. Bucky the Spotted Horse is jump around 
having a drink. Alright, so I wish we could put some coarse dirt down, like to have a 1.8. What I'll do is I'll, I'll just sub it for gravel at the moment, so... Out of the way, Bucky. Alright, so that'll be more or less where the horse is. And that's getting really annoying. Alright, so that's where Bucky lives. And now we're going to do this. I'm thinking wheat farm. So we'll get rid of this. Nice and easy like. And that'll do. And um, logs this time. I think we'll use... This. I don't think the birch logs would look that very that good. But the dark oak will look good in this stage. There we go. I always like doing this. So we'll just come along and we'll do that. What we'll do is at this stage here, we're going to go up a layer. And this will be where water will come through. So we even do that. Alright, so we need some grass. Alright, excellent. Alright. Alright, so that'll be the where the water will go. And that'll all turn to dirt. And... I think I'll go and do these logs off screen. But what we'll do is, I'm just going to quickly chuck the water down. Looks good, but. There we go. Doesn't that water look great? Alright. There we go. And I'll till the land. So we'll, we'll go and grab our... Here it is. We'll grab a diamond hoe. There we go. There we go. And we'll get, oh, wrong, <laughs> wrong tab. All right, we'll get some, get some stone slabs. Could we? I'm gonna use cobblestone for this one. And for here, before the water gets out. <laughs> All right, whatever. All right, so actually, I could probably put a staircase there. So cobblestone stairs. There we are. We'll just stone the stairs. Alright, step in the water. There we go. That allow the farmer to till his crops. In fact, what I'm going to do is do that. That'll still allow the water past. <laughs> Alright. In fact, I could probably turn that into stairs. So if I just boom, boom giving me the ability to do that. In fact, I might bring that up again. See, the, these two blocks here, these two logs here are just placeholders at the moment, but we have our bit of land. I'll grab rid of that, and I'll grab some seeds and materials. We'll plant the seeds. There we go. Come on. And just this last little plot. Alright. Then I'll grab some fence posts. We'll just run along here. Fence it off so none of the other villagers can... Whoa, 
on top of the seeds. Alright, so we'll chuck it down on top of that. And again. Alright. No. Nope. This I'm just really bad at this. There we go. Same on this one. Alright. I think we might have to do one more. Alright, there we go. That one. There we go. Nice walk in. He'll be able to walk up to here to the next set. And I'll do all this off camera and I'll show you guys in the next episode. Because I have run out of time to do this episode. What I will do is I I'm going to grab one of these lanterns. I'm going to grab some of the materials for that. And fence and glowstone. And I'm going to chuck at least one of these here. I'll chuck it on this side. Nice, right there. One more. Oh. Is that it? Oh, this will be fine. And here. Up twice, go one. Bit of a hassle making them, but. Oh, there we go. Clear the inventory. And this is what we've got. It's absolutely nice. I think what I might do really quickly is grab some anvils. Because everybody loves anvils. So, whoop, there. And then, uh, I think, no, I was right, it's in here. I think. No, in here, maybe. Okay, decoration blocks. And cobweb should be in here. Oh, how did I miss that? Alright, so, first one, we're going to need to hold shift, get it in. And we'll say the wind is going this way, sort of diagonal to the house, so, boom, 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 boom. And that, these couple don't need to be there. You don't need to be there, and neither do you. Oop. And you just go play around with it until you get something that you like. From all angles, of course, so it looks nice. And even though they're just cobwebs, I understand that, but we've got to RP this, and that's sort of like smoke coming out of the chimney, of course. So I'll do the rest of this off camera. And I'll show you guys in the next episode. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video, of course. Subscribe if you're new or you want to see more. You'll get, up, you get updates every time I put a video out. Um, I recently got an Xbox One with Sunset Overdrive. So if you guys want to see that, let me know because I absolutely love the game. And I would be more than happy to play it for you guys. So, uh, yeah. This is Cracked Earth Games signing off, more or less. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the, the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.